Hi guys, I'm Taraji P. Henson, and I'm going to take you through my beauty regimen. I always like to start with cleaning my scalp. You caught me at a good time, actually, because um, I'm on a show, I don't know if you know it, it's called Empire. Um, I wear wigs, ta-da! And so I literally just took my braids down. See, you can still see the parts in there. And so when I do that, I like to really treat my hair. So I don't know if you guys know this, but I just launched my new hair care line called TPH by Taraji. Can you see it? Anyway, it's in there somewhere. And I always like to start with cleaning my scalp because you cannot um, expect to have healthy hair if you don't have a healthy scalp. So I like to start with um, Never Salty. It's actually a sugar scrub, which exfoliates your scalp. So you spray it, get it into your scalp like that. I usually like to just go through and part it and get it all in the scalp. I created this line because when I started working in Hollywood, I wanted to protect my hair. So I started wearing weaves and what I found um, hard to do with weaves was yeah, I was wearing these incredible protective hairstyles, but how was I to take care of my hair and scalp while in these protective hairstyles? So. I never really found a line that really paid attention to scalp care, so I had to create my own. So I usually get this all in, all over. And when you're finished, I'm gonna go wash it, meet you back, and my scalp is gonna feel like a peppermint patty. <sighs> Be right back. Guess what, I'm not done with that experience because next I follow up with the Master Cleanse. The formulation is very loose, so it'll get down to your scalp through all of the congestion <laughs> and clean your scalp and see how it just distributes right down. So you don't even have to part this one. You can just get it and it'll go all over your scalp. So I do that. I saturate my scalp. I massage again and I rinse. I'll be right back. So then I finish up with the um, mint condition. And this condition, same concept. If you have an, an install, you need to make sure you condition your scalp as well and the roots of your hair. So everything starts with a healthy scalp, guys. I'll be back, gotta wash the conditioner out. So here's a little tidbit you didn't know, maybe you did or maybe you didn't know about me. Those who know me from way back in the day knew this about me, but um, <clears throat> I would have gone into cosmetology and I think God intervened because I was a year late for enrollment and that was um, directly after I was not accepted into the performing arts high school and I thought that because I wasn't accepted that that meant I didn't have talent so I was like well off to school off to cosmetology school and then God blocked that now I'm putting in my um, ride or die leave-in conditioner I finally found my way back to school for acting and then I still stayed, I still was doing hair because I needed money, right? So I was doing $20 wet sets <laughs> on the dorm. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I missed one big, I had to gel my hair up with Tough Cookie. This is what I use to slick my hair up. See, I put that. Tough cookie on. Look at them curls popping. <laughs> now to the face. Okay, guys, I'm gonna share a little secret with you. Because I keep a clean, healthy scalp, my face regimen is really like, eh, you're gonna be shocked. This is what I clean my face with. <laughs> I clean my face with Biore. Um, it's charcoal, it gets the job done. I like a face cleanse that suzzes up because to me in my mind it's mental. It feels like it's doing something and cleaning. Um, so this is what I wash my face with. Okay. Oh, nice and clean. And I like to use, um, I use my um, serum for my face. Vitamin C serum. You don't need much. Probably don't need that much. I overdo everything. I just love products. Um, and I pat that on my face. And your skin gets nice and tight. Uh. 
Well, because I just flew today, I got off an airplane, you know, you can get a little puffy and sometimes it creates dark circles for me. I like to use an, uh, an eye serum, a hydrating eye serum. Is that upside down? I can't see. <laughs> um, and I just like to roll it. If, this, if anything, this feels good. It just feels amazing and you can feel it tightening and plumping underneath. I actually take more care of my skin when I travel because I feel like my skin needs more attention. To make sure it gets all in. And they also have a lip serum too. You just have to stay hydrated when you fly because, ooh, that air, that airplane, that recycled air, are not good at all. Okay, this is literally Cookie's eye cream. I'm just showing you a bit of what Taraji does and what Ashota does to me, Ashota Sharif on the show. This is what I use. Now, eye cream, you don't need much at all. Just a little dollop like this. That's all you need. That's probably too much. I just wash my face, wash my makeup off, and put my Paul Sherry moisturizer on. And um, that's all I've been doing all these years. Y'all been seeing this face on the camera. That's all I've been doing with an occasional um, facial here and there when there's clog. So I'm going to start concealing my under eye with my Perfect Blend by Sh Ashuta Sharif um, Blend Stick, Beauty Stick. And I the lighter color on first. I love her stick, she has two sides. Highlight, contour, so brilliant. Run that in. I love her stuff, it's so creamy and I just feel like it immediately gets rid of the black, the dark circle right away. I'm so dramatic, I say black, it's never black, but to me it looks black, those circles, they look like, ah, oh, look like a raccoon. Is this and Becca is very dense, um, so you don't need a lot. See, I'm just doing that. I started with the foundation first to set it, and then I go over with this highlighter. So this is um, this is just more of a, like a natural beat, just something that I do really, really quick before I head out. Okay, um, and then I go back in. To contour my cheek with my perfect blend this is probably more than I would do I'm just showing off for y'all I just want y'all to know I know how to do makeup <laughs> I don't want it to look like I have on a lot of makeup I just I just like to look refreshed and not sleepy I'm low maintenance honey I need y'all to know I'm very low maintenance and like I said, I'm showing off for you because usually all I do is pop a lash on and I'm out the door to be quite honest. I'm just going to set my concealer with a translucent powder so it doesn't move while I do the rest of my face. I've always had this very high arch <laughs> on this eyebrow since I was a baby. If you go look at any of my pictures from you know grammar school, even when I was a baby, and that's because I have a cowlick. And that means my hair right here grows the opposite way. See that? If it was, I mean, you know, Damone Roberts, who um, slays my eyebrows, he has these babies under control. But when they get wild, see how that is growing that way? And look at this right here, child. Look at that. <laughs> oh, it looked like a, it looked like I'm up to no good. My dad used to try to lick them down. He'd be like, come in. I'm like, ah, I don't do that. And I'm glad I didn't train them to stay down because it makes me unique. I'm really known for my eyebrows. I'm really not the best at my eyebrows to be quite honest, but I just do a little something, see? Just. So just a little something like that. And, oh, I can't wait. So I'm sweating because I'm excited. Who else sweats while they're doing their makeup, right? We need to come up with something. Brianna, I love you. I love Fenty everything. So back in the day, this was a lip gloss. But now, <laughs> it's a lipstick. Okay. So we just put a little dab. It's very pigmented, so I'm going to start off really small because I don't want to be, I don't want clown eyes. And then we went that in. Look at this, y'all. Look at how pretty that is. <laughs> right? That is a cream lipstick 
then I'm gonna go over it um with uh, Giorgio Armani they have these great little metallics and again guys I'm showing off I know I said I was gonna do like a natural beat I'm showing off I've changed my mind I'm doing a beat in case I was going out <laughs> and be cute look at that eye isn't she cute and sometimes my fiance will be like how long do you need and I'll start off with like a natural beat. Then I get to playing in it. And I'm like, oh, let me see where I can go with this. And then five hours later, he's like still waiting. So now he's gotten smart and he gives me another time to be ready so that he's not waiting. He think I haven't figured that out yet. Look at that. And that's lip glosses and sticks. <laughs> we did that eye. And then I go back and I kind of clean it up a little bit so it's not too, too, too pink, pink, pink. This is a great daytime. I love this. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side. Remember, this is very pigmented. You just need, see that one little dot? That's all you need. One dot goes a long way. And see, if this was a nighttime eye, I would then go in the corners here with a darker color and smoke it out a little bit. And the, the trick to makeup is blending. Blend, 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 blend. Even if you put too much, you can just blend it out, blend it out. You can always use your fingers if it's too much. Blend it out. Then I go over it with my Giorgio Armani. And I go back and I clean up the mess I made wherever there's a mess. Look at that. That is so fresh and bright and cute. I love a good shimmer. These are absolutely, um, look at that. Oof, amazing. Fenty is always good. Um, I have several that I use though. Now I'm gonna do mascara. No, I'm gonna do a liner. I'm gonna do an eyeliner. Yes, gotta line the eye. Just a little, not a lot. Look at eye. It's very hard to do, but I've been doing it for years on my eye. Again, something that I can do on my face and no one else's. I can't really see in here, guys, how good this is or not, but you get the idea. Liner, oh! Mascara. Usually I would put a lash on, but I think y'all sick of me now. Ooh, you know what? To be quite honest, <laughs> I have been wearing lashes. I don't ever really just la put a mascara on my lashes anymore for a natural beat. I usually just pop on a lash and hey, I think I'm going to start doing my lashes again. Oh, Tom Ford, a little natural lip. This is something about putting on lip gloss that makes me feel so sexy. <laughs> that wasn't sexy, but clean and fresh from the scalp on down. Love you.